Hello everyone. So now, based on the notes, kindly refer point number three. For the index equation, have more than two terms, we're going to use the method, which is a substitution method. Point number four. The below other example, how to find an x in an index equation. So now we are going to discuss example 4. Find the value of x for the equation 9 to the power of x minus 4, 3 to the power of x plus 3 equals to 0. So based on here, we are going to simplify the situation and the terms that we are going to land would be the 3 to the power of x. So from here, 9 will be equals to 3 to the power of 2 bracket x minus 4 bracket 3 to the power of x plus 3 equals to 0. So now we can simplify the situation 3 to the power of x bracket square minus 4 bracket 3 to the power of x plus 3 equals to 0. So by using the substitution method, we are going to let y which is equal to 3 to the power of x. And we can simplify the situation y squared minus 4y plus 3 equals to 0. So from here, we can factorize the situation y minus 1 bracket y minus 3 equals to 0. So where we will have our answer, y equals to 1, y equals to 3. So now, our main focus is to find the value of x. So do remember, before this, we already let y equals to 3x. So actually, y is equals to 3x equals to 1. y is equals to 3x equals to 3. So now we have to equate the base. So 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 0. From here, we can compare the indices and we can say x which is equal to 0. Next, moves on to next situation. 3 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of 1. Again, we have an equal base so we can compare the indices. And finally, we have our answer x equals to 1. So here we are and thanks for watching.